my name is Joe Gardner. I'm the mill manager here at JS West in Modesto. And I'm going to show you today how we make feed. We make a variety of different feed for a variety of different kind of animals and a different variety of customers. Anywhere from your local 4-H and FFA kids that show livestock at your local county fair or large farmers who have thousands of chickens. Now, we're going to go back and we'll show you step by step how we get to this point to put feed in the sack. Back here, we're going to go through a quick process of what it takes to make feed. We receive in truckloads of ingredients at a time, such as corn and soybean meal, and we can store it up into the bins that you see behind me. We can store up to 100 tons in each one of these bins. We then auger the ingredients inside where they're ground and mixed to the customer specifications. And now we'll go inside and see what it takes to make a pellet. All right, we're back here by our pellet mill. We brought ingredients from outside, we ground them, we mixed them together, and now we, they go through a conditioner chamber right above me. We heat it up to 170 to 190 degrees. Then it falls down here and this presses out to make pellets. The pellets fall down below, and we'll go look at the coolers next. Okay, we're down here in the cooler pit underneath our pellet mill. We've made the pellets, they fall into these coolers, and we have big fans that draw the heat out of the pellets, so they stay together. And down from here, they go either into our sack off, where we make sacks like you see in the store, or they can go in a big bulk truck and go out to anybody's ranch that we're selling feed to.